Well, hello there, stranger. It has been a while, hasn't it? Hmm. I know. And about that, I'm really sorry. Truly, I am. A lot of things have been happening in the background. Personal things, so it's kind of made normal socialization difficult. I promise, things are starting to get better, thankfully. Thanks. I do feel bad though. You and a few others checked in on me, and it's not like I blew you off, but I didn't quite know how to um, tell you how I was feeling, more or less. Well, it was more in the sense of I didn't really feel like talking, so I opted for the, I guess, slightly less mature way of dealing things. I promise, I won't go out ever again. If there's anything on my mind, I'll let you know. Thank you. And the same goes for you. You know you're always welcome to tell me what's up, what's going on, but you're not forced to. You don't have to share every little detail if you don't feel like it. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Mm hmm <laughs> Sounds like a deal then. We'll catch up another day for a lot longer than the amount of time we have today. And you'll take us out somewhere nice to eat. One of your favorite restaurants. How does that sound? Do I think I can buy your love back with food? Of course. Food is probably one of the main ways that we've bonded over our extensive years of friendship. Exactly. <laughs> so, obviously, there's much more to why you called me to visit you, other than to chew me up for going AWOL for so long. What's been happening? Are you okay? Of course. And why would I judge you? Well, no judgment here. You've been patient enough with me for so long. Let me at least be here to help you. Give you my best advice, as best as I can, depending on whatever situation you're going through. Of course. So, I'm in. Yes, the doctor is in. Let me get my glasses, my notebook. You lie on the couch and tell me what's wrong. I know, bad taste. But seriously, what's been plaguing your mind? Hmm. You 
Is it that one friend that you told me about last week? Yeah, the one... Isn't that always the never-ending issue, though? Having to worry about whether or not a friend is really a friend. I know, it's tough. It's not easy. And I know I'm not somebody who helped that type of situation, that I know for sure. Well, I'm glad. Well, at least I'd hope you'd forgive me. Well, I'm glad then. As for your situation, though, um... Well, I'm never the best at just saying, you know, whether they're real or fake friends. A lot of people are friends. A lot of people are only conditional friends who just want to be there for you when it benefits them. I guess that is the definition of a fake friend. Sort of. Well, that may be so, but just because I've made my fair share of good friends, one, of course, being you, you're very welcome, it doesn't mean I've had my fair share of not-so-great friends. I've had to deal with some people before, many people, in fact who are either only my friend to get something out of me or not really my friend but were friends with a friend of mine and only talked to me whenever I was with that mutual friend we don't even talk about that one no that was a complete other level of Crazy. But either way. Exactly. Nobody's safe from fake friends here and there. That doesn't mean you'll turn into one. <laughs> because you're a genuine person. Because you're nice. You're a good person to speak with, to hang out with, and you're forgiving towards me. Regardless, while I may have been there for you for X amount of times, I'm not perfect. I do know this. Again, I am very grateful that you forgive me for this. I won't. But back to your matter at hand. Fake friends. Either becoming one, or... The fear of just... Friendship. Well, I can understand that. You people are always a bit nerve-wracking. Whether they be brand new as in nobody else in your circles know who they are, or mutual friends, where you both have a friend in common with each other. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's 
the homie's a little scary because, you know, you don't know them as well. Everything goes back to square one, and after having to deal with a few of those, um, thanks to some bad experiences, it's understandably tiresome. It really makes people unmotivated to want to try and start over again. I know. Trust me, I know. It is not easy. But still, it's okay to try and make new friends after you heal. Of course, healing is extremely important. It's not like one of those things, lose a friend, gain another to replace them. But friendship is still a form of a relationship. And whether or not it ended well, you still need to have your own time to either grieve or process what you experienced. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know that all too well. Trust me. You know what I've been through. You know what I've had to basically endure. I was scared to only make new friends for years. <laughs> Hell, I was barely close to any of my new co-workers the job that I got back then. Now, of course, it was all friendly banter. But that doesn't mean that I was ready to put my full trust in someone again. That was a very difficult time. I really couldn't tell if any of my friends that I had were really friends to begin with. You can't, and this is something I learned the hard way, you cannot associate one bad person or even a few bad person, bad, bad people, with the entire human population. Sure, a lot of us are bad, a lot of us are just garbage, selfish, manipulative sociopathic and there's a non-ending list an unending list look it's been <laughs> exactly it's an unending list of what makes someone a bad person but that doesn't mean everyone is but that also doesn't mean everyone who does not have any of those flaws are perfect. Regardless of whether or not a person fills your entire criteria of a real or a good friend, that doesn't mean that they're perfect. Exactly. At the end of the day, we are all humans. Yeah, I've been, I've been known to be the more forgiving friend out of many people I know. But I like to think that people can change over time. There are some that I've met who don't, even though I let them try time and time again. But that doesn't mean that I'm giving up completely on everyone. Exactly. Don't associate one bad apple with the entire tree, or let alone the entire orchard. In an orchard of apples, sure, maybe you'll get a good few dozen rotten ones. That doesn't necessarily mean every other apple that you'll pick is going to be bad. 
is similar with friends. Sure, you may run into a few bad ones, but that doesn't mean everyone is the same. <laughs> to be fair, nobody's really the same. They're all their own person, their own thoughts, their own ideas. Exactly. And you have every right to be concerned and cautious. I'm not telling you to just run up to a random stranger and say, Hey, let's be friends. I'm saying, if that is to ever happen again, and you feel the courage of meeting someone, of making friends, and then you start to feel that worry in the pit of your stomach, an eye on it. Listen to it if it starts to point to somebody that you feel in your intuition is not as good as they say or portray themselves to be. But still, allow yourself to believe that there is still good out there in the world because there is. It may be difficult to find. But there really is good in the world. I promise. I pinky promise. There. Happy? <laughs> well, I'm glad. And I hope that what I had to say, even if it was a little all over the place, I hope it helped. Or at the very least, gave you a sort of different perspective on friendships and people. Definitely a diamond in the rough situation nowadays, I agree. But hopefully we can teach younger generations to do better. Well, I have my fingers crossed. And I'm glad that you do. <laughs> you know, now that we talked about food earlier, I'm actually kind of hungry. My meeting isn't for another few hours. What do you say? Oh, no, no. This outing won't be that makeup lunch dinner date that we'll have for me to make up for missing out on talking to you. This one's just for fun. For more catching up to do. With food this time. You're down? Oh, that's great. Okay. I parked my car over there. Let's go a place, and I'll drive us somewhere really good to eat. Of course. I love that type of food. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>